Next, there's been violent unrest in Venezuela as people broke a strict quarantine in several states to protest against food and petrol shortages. A man was killed and at least six injured during clashes with police in Bolivar State as hundreds of people looted a local supermarket. The economic impacts are being felt across much of Latin America, as the BBC's Tim Ullman reports. Here, in the city of Upata, some people have reached breaking point. Rocks and stones are thrown at what is believed to be a Chinese supermarket. Venezuela has been in lockdown for six weeks. Food supplies are running low and it's suffering the worst fuel shortage in a decade. Things were bad enough before the pandemic, but the virus has made the situation so much worse. There's been an upturn in mental illness in the country. And those of us who are dedicated to mental health are concerned about this situation. It must be addressed in the most effective and proactive way that it can be in these cases. Cuba is another country that's endured difficult times long before the arrival of COVID-19. But now rationing, which was supposed to be phased out, is staging a comeback. This situation that started two months ago is not the only reason for this rationing. Imports had already begun to decrease. Then COVID-19 arrived and it was difficult to keep up these long queues of people because of social distancing. So rationing has been given a breath of fresh air. Things are not quite so bleak in Mexico, although the situation there is complicated by the sometimes fractious relationship with its northern neighbour. Coronavirus has affected supply chains and Donald Trump has put a halt to immigration. But his Mexican counterpart stresses it is only temporary. Regarding the immigration policy of the United States, we need each other mutually. One couldn't close the border completely because there's a degree of integration that makes it indispensable to keep the border open. In Peru, people scramble for food being handed out by the local government. A state of emergency has been extended here for another two weeks. The country's president admits these are tough times for everyone. Tim Allman, BBC News.